I just want to do a little walkthrough of my Satyrus's mod for Skyrim Special Edition. I'm going to walk you through the quests and we're going to listen to some of the voice acting. Um, all of the Satyrus's are completely original voiced. Uh, it's all digitally generated. So I'm going to show you with Jen and Kat just so I can sort of cakewalk this a little bit. I think it's about time I did my hair differently. So that um, I'm not bogged down fighting stuff and we can just get to the meat of the mod. So how to start it is you have to get into uh, a fight with a Forsworn. It doesn't matter which one or it shouldn't. But uh, I'm going to run up here to this mine where there should be some hanging out. those forsworn to pick a fight with us sure will okay so you can see that there is a note that fell and in your uh, whoops in your quest journal pick up the fallen note I can get to the note. by order of the matriarch you must secure the relic of her scene known as the huntsman stone Take these sacred briar hearts and travel to Blind Cliff Cave. It's always the same location. Once you have retrieved the stone from our brothers and sisters, the location of several ancient men here will be revealed. Take the stone to these places, and the veil between Tamrail and the hunt will be made thin, calling forth ser servants of her scene that will guard and assist her people. Make haste so that we may fully secure the north and quickly bring the occupiers to their knees. So the note mentions that you need a briar heart ingredient to unlock each of the men here so if you search this guy he starts with three i'm gonna go ahead and take his gold too i think i'm about ready to make us a few more potions so we need to go back to blind Cl cliff cave and i've already cleared it Oops. so the beginning of it's going to be sort of a cakewalk there won't be any enemies but when you get into the main dungeon there they will have repopulated so we're going to fast travel over here so as i said each uh each follower has a custom voice. It's completely unique. And we just need to get through this area and get to the stone. Actually, I'm just going to run it through. And if you haven't done this cave before, there's a pickup quest you can do in here for the Hagraven sisters. So you go up here. And go across here. And the actual dungeon will be up here. Right here. And this is where uh, everything should have respawned, so we have to be a little careful if you've already done the area.
We're gonna kind of lure these guys in. Huh? Make it a little oh. easier, hopefully. Over here. Not at the end of that. That. Where did you come from? Enjoy your life. Next time, bring more friends. I'm using a renamer, which I thought that I turned off, but it's still renaming everyone. It's another good area to kind of draw people through, because the, uh, for some reason the trap is still active and I can't turn it off. Probably won't have any briar hearts, but there'll be um, an opportunity to get more as you're once you pick up the stone. Um, there'll be four sworn who are per pursuing you, and each one of them has a leader that you can pick now a heart from. Off. Let's show these. Mark! Now we have a stone. And if we look at our map, well, we'll have to wait till we get outside, but it'll show you the locations of the men here. this one here nearby one near Morthal one kind of near the watchtower and there are two in the uh, springs area so this one's pretty simple to pick up so since I already have card waste and I'm gonna go here The encounters will happen fairly quickly, and as long as you're on the quest to um, bring all the securists through, um, you'll have encounters where they'll attack you every four hours or so in game. Which sounds like a lot, but if you have uh, enough areas uncovered and you're fast traveling, it actually goes by pretty quickly. This was up here, but I moved it down because there are some house mods that tend to put stuff in this area. So I'm trying to keep it cool without having to patch everything under the sun. Now there's another event that can happen when you go up and unlock these portals. Anytime you bring uh, one of the Sertiris through, there can be a portal breach where... Um, Denizens from the Huntsman's um, realm, the, the realm of her scene, can come through and attack you. And it's completely random. There's five different kinds of encounters. So, just going to stay armed just in case. Now we're good. And I'm going to drop these two once I get 
a couple of these followers just to keep it balanced because there tends to be um, some fairly challenging depending on how many people are in your party uh, encounters so this is Nyssa I am here to serve you good I am ready to hunt with you and they have all the different follower uh, commands your wish is my command what can I carry for you and they work just like regular followers, so they'll work with the I'll be vanilla, one step behind you. The vanilla system. So that means they're supported by um, uh, NFF, AFT, EFF. And you, as you can see, they come with hooves and horns and a tail. And there's also a um, configuration file if you're using CBC, CBPC that uh, you can make the tail wiggle. Your wish is my command. If you need anything else, just ask. And they do uh, make idle comments out in the wild or if you're in dungeons. So, anyway, to the next one. We're going to do... I can't even say that. Kien Stag. When making the uh, the various portals, I tried to use the lore in the area. So, I think that was a dungeon or um, a tomb that was nearby. And have a horse follow me around. Oh, we got an Where encounter. Where did you come from? The Briar Heart, we want the the Briar Heart off of him. Or she's out from up below. time. Okay, now we have to attack everyone in town. Such a beast. Okay. We'll settle up with them later. <clears throat> Gotta run across every creature. Spider or this ends now. something out here. Weren't expecting that, were you? I forgot to mention that each of the uh, each of the goat girls I'm going to crush you. has their own theme and special abilities. She's sort of a two-handed shaman. Impressed. And she does have an ability where she can close in on opponents by, uh, like, teleporting to them with lightning. Okay, let's not do that. 
I'm just going to retreat everybody because I don't want them going back into the town and starting starting all those good people up again. So. Get him to come over here. Alright, come on now. I don't know why they're going off anyway. I'm just going to get them to come over here. Here we go. Start. Let's let the fur fly. Got a bug or something over here. again. Okay. Got a wolf or something. Spider, probably. All right, Dark. you want to go? I don't know if you saw it, but she was, uh, Nissa was next to me, sort of, and then she just teleported across. So, see if anything comes out of here. Skimpy Savages. Most of the leaders should have some pretty decent loot. Okay, not in this case. Um, I'm itching to do something. But the uh, skimpy savages are sort of a um, uh, a B, B movie nod. Where's the one? Did she come through? She's got to be hiding off. No problem with so much. With the the grass mod, <laughs> I cannot see her. There she is. Jeez, Sorelia. I am here to serve you. Good. I am ready to hunt with you. What can I do to help? If that would please you. I'll be one hoof step behind you. She is a earth mage. And their spells taken from uh, the elemental magic mod. Which I do credit in the mod. It's pretty cool. I gave her um, a ricochet ability so she can hit opponents with a rock. And it can bounce off of one opponent and hit another one. And she can also occasionally knock people down with boulders. So... I think we're going to keep everybody until we get the next one. And we're going to go to Barley Dark. That was the actual original name for this area. So I just named the, uh, the many of the same thing. And since I really don't have anything nearby, we're going to have to go from the watchtower. Shouldn't take too long, though. Maybe we'll fight some stuff on the way. We 
we've still got two Briar Hearts, so we need another encounter. And of course, I wish it... I could see my own tail. I bet it looks adorable. Vampires. Oh. Vampires and Force oh, One. over here killing a, a cow. Anyway, moving right along, we have all of the hearts we, I mean, hearts, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, the briar hearts that we need. I saw a bunch of different hearts. I remember a cart going on fire. A random burn up cart. I did not put that there. I use Valhalla combat, so my stamina regenerates really quickly because it's used in a different way. Almost there. See what comes out and hopefully won't die. Only you can um, activate it so the player actually has to walk up. So anything else passing through the area won't accidentally set it off. I am here to serve you. Uneventful. Yeah. She, um, two handed, heavy armor, and has a cold theme. Your presence is a blessing. Is there some way I can help you? How about I wiggle my tail on you? Good. You get I'm ready to hunt with you. And we're gonna get rid of Jenny. Need Kat. something? You're gonna miss me, and I'm going to make you beg to get me to come with you again. Of course. Need something? Be careful out there. Maybe you're interested in Jen and Cat there. They're also available as a mod. But we're not talking about them today. So, two more to get. This one's fairly easy if you have mixed water mill. And, um, I got this earlier just so I wouldn't have to cross a huge amount of area that I didn't have uh, um, areas uncovered. So, to the mill. May hit another encounter, depending on how long it took us to travel. Now we won't be able to see anything.
counter this time. I am here to serve you. Rihanna? Hmm. How about a little back rub? She um, is an archer, of course, and uh, has a fire theme, so she can enchant her arrows with fire, even if she's using a normal bow and arrows, and occasionally they will explode. She can also do um, a kill shot that does extra damage if enemies are very low on health. Blessings of the moon. My horns and hooves are yours. You don't have to take all of them with you. Um, there's a quest coming up after this one where you can find them a home. And uh, they'll stay at the area in which you've uh, brought them across at until you secure the home for them and then they will all go to the home area. So we have one remaining. Gonna go here. I should be very far at all. What time is it? Oh, rain in at night. That's why we can't see anything. sunshine sheet. It's a batch file I made. I don't know if it'll work at night. But I want y'all to be able to hear me and see what's going on. So we're going to give it a try. batch file just uh, transitions it to clear weather for video purposes It just flopped over. Yeah, beeline for me. No, sir. She keeps knocking him down with rocks. I'm going to crush this you. Ends now. something I knew I'd find you here we go another let's make this a quick fight what are you all fighting okay Skyrim I'm here to serve you this is Tally she's a healer good I'm ready to hunt with you uses light magic she has a goat companion that she can summon and the goat will um Buff the There's party. Like the feeling of hunting down fresh game. Uh, buff the party with a little bit of extra magicka. It's about 50 points. Same thing with uh, Hania's wolf that she can summon. She'll give a light buff to the party for health. About 50 points. Just a little extra something something. 
So now that we got all by the your girls, command, I will share anything I have with you. Just so you can hear the voice. Less talk, more hunt. Now that we have all the girls, within an hour, they'll ask you to find them a home. Since they're not particularly normal, like other things in Skyrim, um, they want a home away from the cities and the towns. Probably gonna have another quest pop up. It's something that I'm working on. Um, where you can integrate followers, new followers into the mod. So basically you add your followers. If you do it in a certain way, which is fairly easy, um, the newly added mod uh, followers will be placed in the various menus and you go and help them across as well. And you don't need Briar Hearts at that point, but you can still get those um, Portal Breach encounters. So it's kind of fun, and it sort of integrates them in, and they'll automatically go to the home area as well. So. When you have a moment, we should talk. Any one of them can say this, so if you only have one with you, you can still get the quest. I'm at your service. We need a place we can call home, somewhere away from the cities and towns of this land. Her scene has sent me a vision of a faraway place, high up in the mountains. However, it's guarded by the Forsworn, so we may have to take it by force. Thank you. I can't tell you how much it means to us. This will set up a quest. It's at um, the Bard's Summit, I think it's called. Bard's Reach, maybe. But it's all the way over here. And basically, you can go from Old Herodin, Hol Hol Holden, and go across. There's a um, um, a small path that leads over the stream. And if you have um, um, Apache's uh, outfits, there's like a little shop that you can go across that's right near it. So we're going to go here and go down. The reason I've got all five is because this particular fight can be pretty dangerous. It's a, call, it's a king in the mountain. You have to get to the top. So, um, just to sort of see how well we do with all five. I have a delivery for you, but let's see. A letter. I can promise you a delivery that's sure to leave you. I understand. It's another mod. If anyone calls you a goat licker, you can just nod knowingly. But that other quest had popped up. That's the one where you can bring in other followers. And I have a follower pack I'm working on that will illustrate that. And there'll be instructions in the core mod that shows you how to do it. It's pretty easy. So, not worried about that. We need to go right about here. Am I going the right way? Yes. Might run into some of these dangerous mud crabs. Divine Elegance, that's the name of the, the shop that Apache has out. Couldn't remember it. Remember it at the beginning. Another enemy to squash beneath my hood. Run! 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 
I knew I'd find you. Okay, this is where it's going to get a little dangerous. Possibly. someone oh snuck up behind me what was that let's make this a quick Large cluster here. Time to end this. Tally has a, um, a group heal. Can only be used ever so often. Shout, but I didn't get position. You won't live to see tomorrow. You might be right. Show me what you come on, right for me. Show mercy. This is the end for you. That'll teach you. Don't turn your back on a satyr. Something over here. Oh my enemies, that did feel nice. This ends now. Oh no, we got somebody down here. Want to finish him off? That takes care of that beast. All right, go, 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 go. Show mercy. 
Oh my, that did for me. Just a little further, hopefully. A lot of them came down, though. Another enemy to stop. Enjoy your last breath. I'm going to crush you. The Forsworn will reclaim what's rightfully ours. This is a quick fight. This should be it. Are you staring at my tail again? It's mesmerizing, isn't it? This area will function as a player home. It isn't an exterior, so you can still have encounters. And if the area hasn't been cleared, which if you look on the map, it hasn't been cleared, um, the encounters will be more frequent. So to keep that from happening, we can kill this, uh, this boss over here. But we'll go ahead and finish this quest off. What can I do to help? We all really appreciate this. This should be a fine place to call our own. Now they'll all hang their hat here when you dismiss them. We can go over here and kill these guys. I sense danger. Horner. Now. Show me what you've got. And a 
wall. Mm, how about a little back rub? Jump right in my uh, stuff there, girl. So this will mark the area. There. It's a quick little tour. They should wander this entire area when dismissed. But they will tend to congregate by the waterfall area. And I added a, um, a map um, travel point. Here, there's also at least one player chair that they won't use, so you can sit with them or, you know, whatnot for role playing purposes. And that pool is one where they'll take off all their clothes, but we won't do that on YouTube. <clears throat> so that's the, uh, the mod. Hope you all enjoyed seeing the walkthrough and um, the additional content. I'm starting to itch all over. Hope it's not fleas. The additional content that will be coming out in the future for these gals. And I hope that um, people will look into making their own followers and releasing them for the mod. And uh, when you make your own follower, you can just plug into one of the five voices and it'll work automatically for your character. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you all enjoy the mod when it's released. See ya.